Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Amber and we are back with Outer Wilds. I have a dino's jumper on and it stands for Dead in Name Only Society, <laughs> which made me laugh a lot. Thought it would be perfect out for Outer Wilds because of this little fella. <laughs> it looks like an ice cream cone on its side. It's inspired me to just go check out the interloper again because apparently I, I swear I went to go see it, but maybe I died or something because it didn't get added to my little rumor journal in my ship vlog. So I want to go do that today. I also, I do have a list again today. Just a brief summary. We're going to go get the interloper on our journal, hopefully. Um, I want to just go back to the Atarok, the moon on Timber Hearth. Then I want to go to the cannon thing hovering outside Giant's Deep. And then after that, I was—I thought to myself, we've been on every single planet now, I think, except for Dark Bramble properly. So I thought I would just pop my head in and see if I can find that escape pod that we know is in there. So, yeah, those are the general guidelines for today. We'll see how far off the mark I get. Uh, I've just edited the last episode. I feel like I was so boring. <laughs> Sometimes this happens when I when I play a game, and I think with a game like this, I'm, I get really very focused, and I'm just like frowning a lot because I'm thinking about what I'm doing, and uh, in that same breath, I'm very silent because I'm concentrating, and I don't know if that makes for an interesting watch, but it's a different side of me, I guess, for this game. But I just thought I'd say aware of it happening. I know it's happening and I hope that the other game, I don't know if it's gone up yet, but if the other game's gone up on the channel, it would be a more fun thing to hang out. Not that this isn't fun, but you know what I mean. I'm, I, I just feel like I'm so serious <laughs> when I play this game. On that note, my only criticism of this game so far is that it wipes me out when I play it. I think because I'm thinking so much and having to concentrate and just work out puzzles and maybe it's because I'm frowning my face gets tired but my brain is so tired uh, I also do film for a long time when I play I cut out a lot of deaths and nonsense thank you so much for watching as always and let's just play <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching and let's just play we got the wink. Yeah, I can't wink now. All right. <gasps> Let's see what breaks off. That must be like the shuttle moving. I wonder if we can follow it. I think I'm gonna be fast enough now. I can still see it. 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 Go, 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 go. I can still see it! I can still see it! Oh god. <laughs> this isn't any- this wasn't in my plan, but I just want to know. It's going quite far, isn't it? I don't think I'm getting closer. Oh no wait, am I? <gasps> I might be getting closer. Oh no, you won't let me go any further out. Can I not go that way? Oh. 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 No, I can't target it. Shit. Shit. Alright, 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 alright. <laughs> Do you know that thing without a wild when you can't target something? Alright, let's play this. I'm just gonna have to float out in space. What on earth was this? Move it down a bit. This is all gonna be manual flight here now. Wow, what is it? Stop, stop. I'm just gonna get out and look at it. 
Probably would be good if I had stuck that on. The thing is, I can't click it. <gasps> Shit, it's flying away. It's going so fast! Oh no, it's going way too fast. It's flying away from me. My god! I would quit, but I don't know. I've never spotted that so clearly before to follow, if that makes sense. I mean, I mean it lets us target it, so I want to go look at it. See? What on earth is it? What on earth is that? I can't click! I feel like it's useless if I can't just like click it. Shit, yeah, there's no hope for me to grab it. Oh my god, where am I? God, I've lost it as well. So scary. Why did this fly off? Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna crash into it. No, I'm not. I just went right through it. What the hell? <laughs> Was I not supposed to follow this out? How weird. Maybe it's just like a probe or something to try and find, uh, try and find the, um, oh God, my ship's very far away. The eye of the universe, you know? <laughs> Am I gonna be able to get back to my ship? Oh no, it's just getting further and further away. Should I reset the loop? I feel like I should. I'm gonna go too slow for this. But that was interesting. Um, good to know though. Hmm, maybe I wasn't supposed to follow it like that. But then why does it, because it's the first thing you see when you wake up. I thought it would be important. I was onto something, I was really excited. See, now it's pointing a different direction and now it's it's flowing here. It looks like it's about to, are you coming to me? There's also something flying past there. Too many things distracting me. It might be just that the can like cannon itself is rotating. Oh, so I didn't explain my theory. So my current theory is because uh, Gabro, there it goes over there. Is that, is that their name? Gabro. Yeah, Gabro. They said that uh, they've also been stuck in a loop. So then I started thinking, if that is a cannon with that shuttle in it, maybe someone, someone else is also stuck in a loop. And that's why the direction that they're the thing is going each time is changing because they're flying off in a different direction on each new loop, like trying new things. That was my guess for them. Do I want to go to Giant's Deep now? Should I go to the moon instead? At least I can target now. It's very annoying that I couldn't. Okay, let's do it in the order I said I was going to do it. There's a bug up there, which was Outer Rock Moon, Interloper, that giant steep cannon and then um, that bramble. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. You aren't the moon that I want right now. I'm watching you. I'm keeping my eye on you. I'm coming to get you. I will work you out. I will find out how to get in there. I will, I will. At what point does it disappear? Like, can I touch it? Oh God. 
shot. So scary. <laughs> Get distracted immediately. It's funny to think that this thing was just... It just doesn't... Oh, there it is. Wow. Why did you come back immediately? Did I do something right? What? That was really weird. Disappear, so you are accepted. How interesting. So if I unbuckle, like, what is that beep about? I don't know, but that's not the moon I wanted. I wanted this one. I was in there, wasn't I, when I um when I had to oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Gently, 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 gently. This thing is twisting around. Oh, here's where I landed before. I'm pretty sure. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Give me the suit. Okay. Oh god, what? What the hell? Why are we bending around? Let me turn this on. Someone's been trying to pickaxe this thing. Chats research notes. Property of Chats. This is an old crater. Am I recording? Yes. The neat thing here is that the composition of samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. Dark Bramble, at it again. I'd posit that Atorok was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. Oh. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on the other astral bodies in the solar system. Bloody Dark Bramble ruining everything. Look at this lovely bit of ice. Oh, there's the insulator. Okay, let me... Oh, it's so dark here, isn't it? Oh no, it wasn't this one. It was the other side. Well, good thing this place is so small. Should we go talk to our friend? Hello! Esker! Oh hey, it's you! Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Oh yeah, doesn't know that I've already been here before. It's kind of sad. Like, oh god. I feel like... I jump easier here. The gravity feels different. Ha, ah, you. Oh god, see? 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 Madness. It's really cool. Okay, here we go. Now, let me look at this thing with fresh eyes. This is the eye of the universe. What is that symbol? Giant's deep, bit of hollow. Could that be the vessel? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Because when I put it in this, is this is it trying to locate it? Mm, it doesn't know where it is, right? That's going a bit funny. Okay, and we're like, okay, 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 okay. Oh, what's this one? Oh. What on earth is that extra sound? Is that supposed to be the sun? Oh. What's with the weird gurgly sound? Did I do something weird down here? Or, or can I just hear what's there? Not giant steep. Ooh, you can see right in there. Oh, you can hear what's there. Oh, cool. Ooh, come back here. 
please? Excuse me. What does a brittle hollow you sound like? Where are you? So cool. So this doesn't make a sound, does it? Because they can't ever locate it. Oh, it has those symbols on it. No, they don't know where. Same as the other one in Brittle Hollow. I'm going to put it back on the sun, the sun again. It's interesting. <laughs> it's creepy though. I wonder if the sun changes sound as it gets hotter or angrier or it dies. You know? Maybe if I'm here long enough I'll get to keep an eye on that. I haven't set a timer again. So it will be a surprise. Well, it's going to be after that music, isn't it? I'm going to go down in there. Okay, so what did I miss when I was here? So upstairs testing the eye signal locator. It can hear and follow signals from the sun. Try and see. Yes. I think I've read this before. Sends me to posit this, my friends. If I believe the locator I cannot detect the eye signal, I need to build a more sensitive device if I want to locate the eye of the universe. That must be what they did in Brittle Hollow, then. Observatory. So, is there another scroll in here? Are you a scroll? Oh. No, but do you have this? I don't think I would have done this one. Where should this new sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this ice signal locator is. I know there and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum noon locator there. Wow! <gasps> but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building. The house of the proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Konoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always held great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I'll begin the construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we found out something we really knew then. Okay, wow. Wow. I've seen this ruin in other travellers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? Wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. I can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. I was also able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Ugh, oh, stars above. Wait, who is this one, then? Get out of here. Is that chat again? Well then. I mean we did everything here. Um was that filled in? Yeah, I think it's done. Right. Let me go find this thing. Because <laughs> it didn't get added, and I'd like to add it. Are you gonna be right now? Am I gonna be able to see? Hmm. I know at some point you fly into the sun, so I might have missed you. <gasps> oh, there you are. God, you're quite close to the sun, aren't you? I might not have long to do this. I might die doing this. <laughs> That's okay. Hopefully I can get to you before you get to the sun. Oh, 
Oh god, you're so close to the sun. This is gonna be bad, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no, I've left it way too long. Oh god, and we're going into the sun. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? I guess maybe because its course was going in the sun. My ship is crazy. I don't think it likes me. I think it's a sentient being that hates me, to be honest. Um, okay. God, everything wants to kill me. <laughs> Everywhere I go. There you are. Now, can I click? I can. Thank goodness. Hopefully my ship doesn't decide to take me near Dark Bramble. It's just like an alien virus species or something. That's <gasps> And the moon likes it. <laughs> it's there. That just seems to want to infect other planets. By the looks of things. I'm curious to see what the Nomai found out about it. Should I land there on this crack? What is going on? Excuse me? Why would you do that? Why would you do My damn ship is crazy. It's crazy. Ship, you and I are going to have some issues together. I, I have to say, you're on thin ice here, mate. Just wants its feet touched, I think. All right, what is here? Ice. It's snowy. It's cold, I think. Can I touch this? Oh, it, it is ice. Oh, I'm ice skating. That's fun. go to its back end is that oh oh ow 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 i do say ow what is that this is troublesome it seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice if we stay on the surface too long the shuttle may freeze entirely even if it did couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon Cannon on Ember Twin. Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. <laughs> Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue mo monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Pokey and I can continue to investigate the surface. Oh. So I think it did freeze. Did, did they get out? Did they manage to get out before it froze? Can I get in? It looks like it's completely frozen. Okay, let's keep looking around. This is good, I found something. But is that is that it? Well, I don't like being on a comet. It's scary, oh, especially because I know where it's going. It's so cold. It needs to go visit the sun. Oh God, is it at the sun already? <gasps> what the hell? That's such a fast journey. I swear it doesn't. I swear it takes way longer to do that normally. No. This game is crazy. I can't ever. I can't ever relax. I always have to be on my guard. I just die in crazy ways otherwise. Was I done there? I guess I could go look on the ship log, but I think my ship might be hurtling towards the towards the sun. So this, I think it's just flung around the sun. It wasn't going in yet, but that was so strange. And my ship flew off. I'm frozen the my shuttle. Gravity cannon. There's still more to do there. 
What a Nemai shuttle, completely enclosed in ice. There were three Nemai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm. The other two... Oh, I'm going to have to find out what happened to the other two. Jeez, I've got to go back on that bloody interloper. That... Oh, well, I'm going to die again. You are a nutcase, ship. I might accidentally hold them forward, maybe? Perhaps? How about we go for a nice happy medium? And... Do you know what? I'm going to try and get him here because I think it might be safer for me. <laughs> so land right here. This is my my new logic. For this place. Right. Okay. Falling around. So we have this thing. Which we know about. Now, are there footsteps? Please go explore. Hopefully not fall off. Is there anything here? Stress beacon. I don't know if there is anything here. God, I go so fast. Oh god, I'm terrified. It's going right by the moon again. The moon? The sun. I want to get flung off. This is interesting. I think this is the big crack, isn't it? Isn't it? In the face of it. I think I should be looking at my little mini map and going to each, uh, what you call it, pole. Oh, it's cracking. Oh. Oh, because it melted a bit near the sun. <gasps> oh, that's sick. That is so cool. Fucking scary, though. Oh, there's a tunnel. Oh, my God, this is amazing. Oh, ghost matter. Ghost matter. Shh, 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 shh. That is so cool. Oh, man. Oh. What can I... Is that safe? I think so. Hello. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center, and I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Ah! <gasps> Mary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Fuck, I don't think they ever made it out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do I have to throw that better? Hmm. Let's go through 
Oh yeah, so I can't go that way because it's... Can I run down this one? There is a, something in there, but if I stick to the side... Then then it's just that hole with the... I can't do anything with this now, can I? I think I can touch that. I think this is the only one I can go down. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 I don't know which way it went. Oh god. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, I could slide down that hole there. Okay, try and keep on the edge, 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 try and keep on the edge. Shush! Shush! Chill! 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 Okay, now why did I want to be here? <laughs> what was the purpose of me being in here? Can I just look at it? I, I want to chuck you in. still falling? What was that? Just a lot of ghost macro crystals. Are there any holes? There is a hole there. I could use. Okay, right, left. Then I don't know what to do after that. Right, left. And is that it? This is gonna be so t tough. It's still going. I'll try, but I'm really bad at this sort of thing. Oh god, I'm going so fucking fast! Right, left. Jesus. Oh yeah, I can use my jetpack. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, Amber. It's okay, Amber, it's okay, Amber, it's okay, Amber. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. I would like to stop, please. Can you just... Just chill, just chill. Just chill. Just chill. Mm-hmm. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. Oof. Oof. I'm worried I'm running out of fuel. I need it. Still moving on ice. Okay. Suits? Oh. Wait, can this just detect ghost matter doing this? Oh, oh yeah, it's there. There's the fissure. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay, oh my god. I feel like this is going to fall into the, the thing at any moment. Oh, I can get in here. Whoa. Whoa. 
Wow, we. Whoa. 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 Whoa, it looks like a flower. Oh, I need to grab this before I die. The sp spherical. Oh, no. The spherical stone pacing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather the source of what's within the stone. And detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. This should be ten times what we're seeing at least. Hi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it will certainly be fatal. fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Hi, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything as tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal metal within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing this star system almost instantaneously. The pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chance of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go, warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somewhere. Now, Pokey. So this crashes into the sun. And is this what causes it to go supernova? I think I'm about to die. I think I'm about to die. Maybe I'm about to see what happens. I don't know. Or maybe it just, wait, we went past it. Oh my God, that was a terrifying sound. This poor person's just floating around. I can't click anymore for some reason. This is incredible. It, it's... It's so cool! Sorry, I'm going bonkers. I'm freaking out. It killed them. It seems to just have, like, disintegrated their bodies out of the suit. Sorry, I was reading that so fast. I was like, I have to get this information before I potentially die. Um. Oh, it's fallen all the way over here. I'm done. Why it's floating like that? God, it's, they're the same size as us. I can't see their face though. I'm pretty sure their body's just, yeah, disintegrated. Let me read this again. Did they ever manage to tell anyone about this? Because they're dead. Because the other one, the other person who was in the shuttle said that their readings were getting fainter the deeper they went in. And they do talk to someone else. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As I can tell, Jack can tell it would be fatal. Whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. If stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within could rapidly expand. Okay, I think it, it sounds like... Because the other one never made it out, because they were, they were dead on top. I think they've tried to touch it to learn more about it, and it's ruptured. It's opened, and they've both died instantly. And they've never managed to tell anyone about what's happened here. That's 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 my guess. I'm about to die because I haven't got any oxygen. But um, Jesus. I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's a horrible way to die. Bloody hell. That is really scary. Okay, so that thing crashes into the sun. I guess speeding up its life. <gasps> 
Wow. Uh -huh. I took a big breath. Yeah, you can breathe again. I'm so sorry, buddy. Bloody hell. The moon is taunting me. I'm seeing it everywhere now. Hi, Slate. Oh, God. Oh, a player flew my ship directly into the sun. It did. Had an exciting dream, did you? It's not exactly impossible for autopilot to get you too close to the sun. But it's not like it'll try and take you there on purpose. Are you sure about that? Because that's, that's my current conclusion about this damn ship. It's trying to kill me. Make sure the sun isn't between you and your destination when you engage your pilot and you'll be fine. Right. They're trying to teach me. because <laughs> They know I'm whining about it. Look. I still think my, my ship hates me. Why is it trying to fly into the bloody interlope like that? So that was insanely cool. Um, let me see this log. Oh my god, there's still more? There's more to explore here? What? Oh, because it's going to melt when it goes by the sun. Energy readings for a spherical stone case and filled on some sort of exotic matter. They determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, the exotic matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. So why didn't it? Because it's it ruptured, but it's... Unless the solar system they were in, it's destroyed. And then now it's travelled to us? I don't know. One of them might... Oh god, so sorry. One of them might stay behind to examine the alien matter while the other rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of them might. Well, it, it didn't happen because they were dead. Everything's so dangerous and violent. Okay, quickly need to put on my suit. I can't fuck around because I'll probably die. It's such a cool idea. Um having each planet and environment change with time it's really clever i know i talk about it me being like it making me anxious and stuff but it's so cool and so clever it's really fun to discover you know okay i'm gonna have to abort our pilot because this thing doesn't know how to slow down you don't know how to switch off <laughs> As uh, Nick Frost might say. Right, stop, 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 stop. Match velocity, match velocity, match velocity. That didn't go very well. Perfect. <laughs> Good job. Well done, everyone. This is nice. Oh no, my ship's trailing away. You're okay. You're okay. I've got you hooked in these icicles. Don't you go away now. Oh my god. No, it's doing something. Fuck. Okay, well, I need to somehow hide. Oh gosh, I hope this works. I don't know if it will. Hi, Dark Bramble. Hi, Dark Bramble. Okay, nope, that didn't work. It's a no. I think... Mm, it's on like... Yeah, it's on the frozen side, so I just don't think it's gonna melt. I don't really know what to do there. I have to have a little think about that one and come back to it, I think. So, should we go look at this broken, like, cannon thing? That was next on my list, on my to do list. It's interesting because I don't know if this changes a lot. I've wasted probably a lot of time <laughs> in this loop now, but we'll try and see it. It's like a broken ice cream cone. I want to land on you. I 
do see the blue thing, but I don't know where we're going to go. We're so close to the to the storm clouds. But you do twist. and scoot over to you I'm hoping this will just catch me catch me catch me catch me is this is this good am i safe here oh good 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 oh my goodness hole there. Wow. Should we go in? Ooh, 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 ooh. Feel like a little marble. Hello. Done one of these doors before. Right hole station. I like them. They're so cool. Wow. Wow we Hey, aren't those the symbols from Brittle Hollow? There's different layers, like the school and stuff. I don't think I could explore all the layers. Control module. No, no, no. No, no, no. Probe tracking module. I'm trying to retrieve it, sorry. What's this one? Um, launch module. Hey. Oh, it's broken. Big hole in it. Wow. What the earth happened in there? Through this gap, apparently. So either the thing ruptured right and killed everyone instantly, or maybe that's why the Namai died. I don't know. Or yeah, maybe that's it. We killed everyone in the solar system, and then it's reached here, and it's about to kill everyone here when it crashes into the sun. Unless it's it's disappeared over time because we were able to go in there there's just like little fragments of it left okay what was this one control module just control module so scary oh god Oh boy, this looks like a puzzle. Can I stand on the floor, please? Oh, thank goodness. Oh no, what is this? what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Hold up, hold up, bull, where are you going? Oh god, it's travelled. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Orbital probe cannon, damage report. Severe structural distress detected. Assassin damage to modules. Control module intact. No structural damage. Launch module. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Let's see. Um, probe tracking module missing. Shit. Did I not see the other one somewhere? That's what I I ran to find in space, right? Mm. 
it's broken oh oh god what in the heavens why did that happen oh that transfers us okay well while i'm down here should i have a look at this launch module projection stone this is what's broken what caused this like, what broke it? Hmm. Oh no, I want to see that. At least that's not escaping out into space. Cool though. Deep projection stone. I have bad news, Evans. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Adea may feel responsible. Shit. Wish I were there, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is an indefinite hiatus. Something happened. Okay, that, that one was a bit confusing for me. Should we just see what this is? Mallow, my better 50%. <laughs> Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Cassava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not, under any circumstances, to go above. I see. Am I right to think that, consequently, we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty that our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Given the orbital probe cannon, all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can. As fast as it can. I'll make some adjustment adjustments. Shit. Something go wrong then? Shit. They're giving it too much power. Oh god, why are we flashing? I'm seeing this again. This is where I was earlier. What's with the flashing red? You're freaking me out. Why does it keep showing me that section? Probe cannon. Launch request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Launch probe cannon construction compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Something went wrong. Seventeen minutes, fifteen seconds ago, request to launch probe received from Ashtream project. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. I think I've read them in the wrong order. <laughs> Perhaps. Oh, I felt like it ran all the way over here by itself. Maybe I was chasing it that way. Well, that was really interesting. But, um... Also very sad. I hope I found everything in this bit. Oh god. Let's go check out that last room. How am I gonna get in the broken one? Probe tracking 
module. Okay, that is very broken. So broken, I dare say it's, it's completely gone. Wow, that's not good, is it? This whole thing is so broken. Oh, this is get through the glass outside. Okay. Good idea, good idea, good idea, good idea. Where's my ship? This way. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to <laughs> fly there very long to actually do it, but I'll try my best. I've also wasted so much time in this loop, I'm assuming I'm about to die at any moment, to be honest with you. Oh god, yeah, the sun looks very unhappy with me. I definitely think I'd be able to get in from the outside. Why is Dark Bramble so close by? What the? Is this thing just travelling around? Why are you so near here? I think Dark Bramble's stalking me. I wonder if I can hide inside there and not get hit by the supernova. What is this? Control module projection stone. This is. I've already been in there. Is it? Why do I need to see this? Oh, I already know what this is. Should we read about that though? Okay. Mallow. My bed of 50%. Cassava ascend in the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. Wait, we already know this. We've already read this. This is the same. Wait, that's weird. Hmm. Is this just gonna be the same? Tracking module. Um, imagine Privet. Probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be first to see them. I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need it to fire the probe once, anyway. So who minds if it compromises the orbital probe's cannon's structural integrity slightly? But then this has just happened. It's just broken. I would mind, Mallow. I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if a probe tracking module is destroyed. But then... Okay... That's very confusing. I need to go read about this in the ship's log. I'm very confused. Very confused. Right. Oh, maybe I should have read before leaving. Oops. Look who it is! Hmm? Look who it is. I'm gonna leave Giant Steep for now. Do you know what? Let's just have a big explore. Let's go look at Dark Bramble. I don't think my theory about the interloper crashing into the sun and causing it to explode is correct. Because look at all those other sun galaxies exploding. <laughs> like fireworks. Alright, Bramble. 
You look horrific. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this. But I have to try. God. Oh gosh. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, there's a red thing. I think I gotta stay away from the red thing. So, I'm just gonna stick to the edge. And try and find. This oh, I'm gonna be really noisy. Shush, hush. Calm down. Oh, bloody hell. Did that hit me or did I hit it? damaged myself anyway. Where is this? Oh. oh, there it is. Knows I'm here. Just stay away from it. Just stay away from it. It's okay. Is that the way out? I don't know what that red light is. I'm scared of this red light, to be honest with you, but... something. Do you think I can get in it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, they're not happy with me! Hi! I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get out before you eat me. Did I escape? I escaped! How on earth did I get out of there alive? Okay, so they have a nest. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Good to know. I might shut the beginning again now. Okay, so the red light is a nest. Okay. so scary in here. This light, I feel like this light's tricking me. Oh, it could be a, a nice core seed. Oh god. This is so trippy. I think I've got to do it again. Ouch, 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 ouch. This is dangerous. Oh, there's gonna be another one in here. Why are there so many cores? It's never ending. kind of peaceful <laughs> despite the fact there are foxes in here they're going to kill me anglerfish error duplicate 
cut the signal. Oh no. I think I have to try and find this. My ship is so damaged. Now is not the time for repairs. Now is the time for survival. I haven't seen a fish in a while, I say. Wow, look at this. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! I found them! Oh, I'm just gonna let the ship do its thing. Yep, this is how I've landed. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's lots of repairs that I need doing. Maybe I should have landed this nicer. <laughs> Why? Why on earth? Wow. It creates duplicates. Oh, this is how they're, they're here. Hello, I've ignored you so far. Whoa. Where'd you come from? No one's come here in, well, ever actually. That makes you the second halfling to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. I say, it's you. They made you an astronaut? And you haven't blown yourself up yet? Good for you. Feldspar, you're alive! You never were the brightest hashling, were you? Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. Wait, what? You crashed? I just had a thought how I'm gonna find that lost. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a second. You crashed, but you're the greatest pilot in Hearthy in history. I'm gonna be a fan. Fan girl. I haven't lived in polite society for a while, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. <laughs> My story goes like this. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep. Wow. And I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one had ever been before. Wait a second. Oh. Wait, is this the person? Because I could hear their... Their harmonica, right? On Timber Hearth. Is this that same person? And it must have been a duplicated signal from that core seed that landed on our planet. I'll go remind myself in a second. I can't quite remember. My story goes like this. I just finished exploring giant core giant steep. I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one had ever been before. Getting around in Dark Bramble was... Get, getting around in Dark Bramble was easy, mind you. Once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, you've dodged them all. But after a while, I run to this huge anglerfish. You've seen them. Big gnarly things. And this was the biggest one I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off. Nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine, and, well, like I said, I crash. Blammo. And on, on impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, and I think, well, that ain't great. <laughs> sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to pull a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. Camped out near where I crashed at first. I found this skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So I've moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Wow. Can't believe you didn't die. No wonder there are so many stories about you back home. Heh, you're not half bad yourself. Making it here in one piece. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchling. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy a fire for a while. You're not going to try and steal my ship and escape, are you? Or don't. Fire's not going to in anywhere. Anything else you want? Oh yeah, I found something. Found a dark bramble seed on Timber Heart. That's bad business, Hatchling. As Chet will tell you if you so much as glance in dark bramble's direction. There used to be a fifth planet where the bramble is now. Hey, what? There used to be a fifth planet where the bramble is now. Oh, it destroyed it. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and shattered its pieces across, scattered its pieces across space. We don't get that seed you found sorted real quick like. I suspect Timber Hearth will be headed towards the same fate. And tell you what, we Hearthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. Or we're going to be done in by something else. Hey Hatchling, pull up a marshmallow stick. Come to hear my heroic tales of my heroic exploits, have you? Where shall I explore here? 
That's the spirit. Any anywhere's good, but you should know that space is weird here intensely. Never tried throwing your scout into one of these weird seeds. See there with a the little opening. It's just big enough to launch one through. Your scout tracker will tell you the scout is in two places at once. But I don't think that's wrong exactly, because space doesn't work right in here. That seed looks small, see? But it's bigger inside. <laughs> Read that wrong. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory in s is space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep that in mind when you're exploring Dark Bramble, and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. Um, you reach the core of Giant's Deep? How'd you do it? Giant Deep's core, huh? Ha, huh, that was a wild one. But since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Hmm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. Well, you won't tell me how! If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. Oh, they're trying to give me a hint. Right, 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 right. I'll go look at your crash ship. You'll want to go to the, to the trail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Right, 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 right. I like you. You don't tell me things outright. Um. Da -da. What's happened to this anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eaten a seed. And then the seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach until this happened. Gross, huh? This skeleton was a good find. Keeps the fish away. See, they're territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. Why do they like dark bramble with the seed? I don't know. Kills them. Kind of the one the anglerfish on the ash twin when it get there. Shouldn't I tell ground, ground control to come get you? Yeah, well, sure, whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quiet, peaceful-ish. You're a little young to understand. It's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. Be nice to have a break. Oh, Feldspar's my favorite. Uh, let's just check the ship. Not from far from here, for, as a matter of fact. You go straight past the trail, tail of this anglerfish skeleton here, you'll see a flickering light in the fog. Yeah. Oh, you're my favorite. How cool. Okay. Wow. So the scout ended up here. Wait, should I be using my ship to do this? think so. <laughs> I don't think this is a walkable distance. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Am I allowed in here? Where do I go then? Do I just roll this vine? Maybe I should go the other way. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, whoa. Oh, my gosh. in space like outside of the main seed what's ice here <gasps> hello that's from um giant's deep play recording trip four entry i'm gonna say not one 
crushes three, boring crushes zero. The personal best. Whoa, never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too? Blech, this thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's inside from getting zapped by electricity. Right, I'm going inside this jellyfish's interior cavity to see what in there tastes any better. Inside. Don't get zapped. How do you... Well, you just go in like this? <gasps> Weird! Read! No to Felsbar. Do not eat this even if you are dying. <laughs> It'd be too sad if this were the last thing you ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love Felsbar. Oh, I gotta go inside a jellyfish. To get into the core. That's so cool. Well, I'm happy I came here now. <laughs> Wow. How cool. How did you get all the way out here? This game is awesome, isn't it? I just want to check. Mm, that seems dangerous. I'm not going to get off the path. Is that just divine? Oh, gosh so scary. I want to know how an anglerfish got so far away from home. You need to use that jellyfish to touch your ship, buddy. I think it's floated away. Oh god, am I going to be able to get back? This way. Uh oh, I think we're running out of time. This was a really useful run. I need to read my log. Okay, I can get to the planet's core by using the jellyfish. <gasps> we should go do that. Module. One of the orbital's probe cannons, three's modules. It's missing. Quantum signal. Statue Island. God, I've got so much to do here. Should we go do it? Should we focus on Giant's Deep? I keep like half doing a planet. <laughs> Bouncing back and forth. I don't know if that's the way to play. Why is it saying unknown? Because we know it's... Oh, maybe I didn't use my signal scope when I was there to register it. Rybeck. That would make sense. My bad that I didn't do that. And I didn't do it with Gabro either. Okay, okay, okay. Now I know to do that. This damn moon's following me around. Every single planet I go to, it's there. <laughs> look away and it's like no look at me look at me even though it pretends like it doesn't like to be seen all right um i need to get into the core oh an island got thrown up so i need to find the Swirly whirlies. Did they not show up on the surface? I thought that they did, but I can't see them. I don't know how to get in here nicely. Not like that. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, let's see. Who's going the opposite direction? Um Is it big enough for me to put my ship in jellyfish? Oh. oh, it looks pretty electrical to me. Let's come in. 
Can I sit in your tail? Would you mind? I mean, you, you probably won't mind. But, um, I, I just... Is your tail? <laughs> hell. I can't just leave my ship floating. I guess I have to. Um, this? Oh, this is weird. Make sure that I just stay inside of it. Ow! It's so hard to just stay in it. <laughs> This is so weird. I can't tell if this is working. It worked! I'm in! Oh my god, that was so scary. Um, I don't like it in here. Is there anything in here? Quantum fluctuations in here? Or anything? On the surface there. It's like a weird bit of coral here. Something. Ooh, what's that over there? Oh, it's the it's the the the, the thing that fell below the surface. Hi. Oh my goodness. How to get you? Ooh, hello. I found you. Let me in. Yes. Oh my god, I found it. I'm in. Oh god. Well, I fell on that thing straight away, apparently. Okay. Ash tomb projection stone. There are a couple lit up. What in the heavens? What in the heavens is going on in here? This is the same as that mine one. I've never worked out what that was about. Oh. Hello. Wow. Wow, we. Can I read about you? I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to leave the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Rami is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you in the orbital probe cannon well? We are. The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each launch flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. Once the probe de determines the location of the eye of the universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Rami. On the other appendage, I'm now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Huh. Okay. I need to read through all about all this cannon stuff. I think I'm getting lost. 
confused. There's a lot about it. Launch module. So weird that they did that. I guess that's to talk to each other easily. See each other? Yeah, we've already read this one. Why are there so many duplicates of this? This stone. I don't know. It really wants me to read it. It's one of these things again. Oh, sorry, this is going horribly. <laughs> Just want to jump and go down. Did it open that? Yeah. Okay, oh no, don't land on that. <gasps> okay, here we go. Let's try and do this properly. I swear it just runs away. Okay. So the last one. So cool, it's like liquid gold or something. Ooh. Wow. Received from data from probe 9,000, 9,318,000. Oh my goodness. Visualizing current trajectory probe. Okay, that's very far away. Even previous launch data from Ash Twin. Num total number of probes launched. Bloody hell. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the IV universe found by probe 9,318,054. Did they find it? There you go. turn things off. Are these the coordinates? Retrieve and store coordinates from Ash Twin. Explain coordinates for the eye of the universe. <gasps> Can I read those? Oh my god, this is huge! <laughs> I don't think I've found my picture set. <laughs> It's so weird adjusting to each, like, layer's gravity and movements. Oh god, that's a lot of water. Thank you very much. Ooh, that could be a ride out of here. So weird, so weird, so weird, so weird, so weird, it's so weird, I don't like it. I'm just gonna trust the process. This looks like the big cyclone. Let's go talk to my friend. Am I above the current? I think I am. Oh my god. Oh, this planet is horrific up here! 
It's so much more peaceful under here. I might just travel this way. This is a massive. Yeah, I should explore here. Ooh, I've seen this. Oh my god, this is what I've seen the projections do. The cyclone doesn't come over. Jump. I guess that would make sense. All my um jetpack tanks will get pulled up. <laughs> Maybe. Oh dear, dear. It's so cool. No, I'm running out of time. Dang it. There's stuff to do here. I, uh, why'd I die? Oh, maybe the impact threw me off the wall. That's pretty funny. Oh my gosh, I had a break. It's so, it's so late at night that I'm filming this. But my tooth really hurts and I don't feel that tired, you know? Um, I thought I'd keep going a little bit longer. I just want to go see what's on Giant's Deep. Aha! And the damn moon is there. Okay, we're gonna land in the storm. Um, cyclone, I think. That's the plan, anyway. I don't know where it was actually. Pole. I assume it's at a pole. Maybe there are two of them. Two different ones. Can I see a swirl? Oh. The wrong kind of swirls. The wrong kind of swirls. be this. It has to be. Stella <laughs> on this planet with the uh, the mountains. Oh my God. Like a pool here. Ooh. There's something there. 
I'm a little worried. I mean, nothing can fly over me here, can it? So I guess I don't need to worry. Oh, it's so scary seeing this. they build anything in here? Wow. Too close to text. Be welcomed in this place, this tower shares, with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. <gasps> I, think I think I'm gonna make a quantum journey. Do you know that? I mean, I have the coordinates for the eye of the universe, so maybe I need to go there. Ooh, I have the raindrops on my face. <sighs> I'm going up pretty high. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay. Enter this place without friends. However, these are lessons to learn for yourself. Enter this place without friends. Alright, everyone. Everyone has to leave, I have to do this alone, apparently. Okay. Why does. Why does it have to be a solo voyage? Multiple people go. Bloody hell. That is terrifying. Oh, I'm scared. But okay. Oh, thank you. Ooh, do I have to make way, my way through the tower? Oh. Seek the wandering arch. Oh. Are you going to be traveling? So I got a... I definitely don't jump as well on this planet. I think the gravity is really heavy. Really strong. I, I just want to know that I haven't missed anything. I'm trying to look while keeping the arch in view. Okay, I found it. I did just see something like, oh, you. Diamond shard. Well, I found you. What am I going to learn about you? Where do you go? Ooh. Where do you go? It's so scary. Observe in a quantum object. Observe in an, an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Launcher has a photo, right? So does it not move? Hey. Oh. That's that's interesting. That's really cool. If I put it away, it's gonna be gone. 
hate that I can't jump from this planet very well. Okay, so I need to I need to take a picture of it because um I need to go up the stairs to get to it. What a good lesson. So that's how I'm gonna be able to keep an eye on things. Was that scripted for that to appear with the the thunder? Because that was pretty scary. I'm just gonna stay there now. Huh. How interesting. and the crystal do not naturally meet. Oh. Oh, so I gotta force them. Oh. Okay, so what do I wanna hold in place? Um I guess I could hold you in place. Uh -huh. Oh no, I looked away from it. I want? Do I want them like that? So I never want anywhere? I'm just probably really bad. Eh. Give me a hug. Too close to the target text. This is the last one, but we made it harder. How many crystals are there? See, I've got to grab them all. Okay. Is there any other two? Um, so I need to take a screen snapshot of just that one, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, but also keep that in mind. Okay, that's fine. I don't think that's gonna work. Wait, how I had it before was pretty good. This. This is pretty good. Oh no, but then it went up. So I can take a photo. Here we go, here we go. still in the shop.
das für ein Tor? Thinking these are uh, gross matter crystals. We offer our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember that other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. At the moon. Oh, that's so cool. Is that the way out? Anything in here, moon? Ooh, yeah, a couple of things. Mm-hmm. You follow me around. Aren't you, my friend? I guess I'll um I guess I'll see you later. That's not what I wanna do. <laughs> Unless you wanna come down here with me. It's so creepy. I like it follows me. My fall. Be free, Island Rock. Well, that was really interesting. Okay, I've got to take a picture of them. That makes sense because you're looking at them. Let's go try and go back to that island that I couldn't uh, get to. Do I have to exit? Eesh. Eesh. Go elsewhere. I never know where to drop in. I'm gonna hit something in here right away. Oh gosh, we're in. We're in. What's with the dark bramble? Seed, huh? Go in, but it's only up above that, it's bad. I'll go that way. Hopefully, this doesn't get lifted in the air because they kill me. So interesting. Ah, hello. Trip four, entry, whatever. <laughs> crashes two, boring crashes zero. Remember to see slate when I get back. Ha ha, yeah, yeah, all the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, giant Steve. You just got felt spot. <laughs> that was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. I can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Ah, can't wait to tell Hornfels and Gossan about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so that's one more off the list. Seems all that's left now is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. And you get lost, don't you? I can doze off. Why would I want to doze off? It's just a nice this, isn't it? Super interesting. Right, well, I'll get back safely now. 
Hopefully we're not hoisted up in the air. Oh no, we might be about to. Oh no. I think death is imminent anyway. When the music plays, I'm like, should I just restart the loop? Their ship. Oh, I found it. I know we're about to explode, but can I go in? I don't think I can. But it's funny that you can find it. All right, we're about to go. Oh, why is it so dark? What the hell? the hell? I mean, I guess the sun's gone, but it's scary, though. That's so scary when you can't see what's happening. Really scary. <laughs> Yikes. Chill out. Chill. 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 Relax. Mm, maybe I should put it in a cave. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> it's just gonna get thrown in the air. Okay. She made life hard for myself. No. Oh, there we go. Now I can actually talk to you. Did I not get all of your conversation before? I can't remember. You know, I kind of wish I'd built a hammock here before we ended up in this time loop. Oh. You. Okay. Apparently I found something. Um, I found what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Wow, that's the cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop. For real? Did you figure out why? Too much power. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slate or Feldspar would do. Pretty surprised that Nomai built something that actually broke. Come to think of it though, broke might be the wrong word, because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. Exactly. Who's doing that? I found your ship. Oh cool, so it's floating in the ocean, huh? Did it like it was having a good time? It's cute. Okay, see you later. Uh, let's also go up, because I didn't do that before. Oh, there it is, flowing past. Oh, this guy's so fast. Bye. Oh no, I think we're about to get lifted up. I, I never feel relaxed enough to roast a marshmallow, okay? There's too much going on. And no time to waste. You know? No time to waste. I think that might be it for here. Let's get off here before that thing comes. Oh my god, it's coming fast. Go, 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 Chill, chill. Now, where did that thing flow off to? Hello, uh, saw you. Hmm. There's the ship. Hmm. 
Is this it? Oh. I don't know what this is. This is new. I don't think I'm going to lose my ship here. That's nice. Be pleased to be if something like that is coming. Are you coming? Maybe I'll wait a second. Calm down, calm down. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. It didn't look like it was doing it then. I'm hoping we don't die when we go back down. I'm hoping this keeps us nice and safe. <gasps> you! Okay, hopefully that means we're good for a while. Unless another one is coming. I think we're good. I hope so, anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I know where we are. Near the other side. I was there earlier. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant Steep for assembly. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. Oh, this is the construction yard. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed. Where many other attempts have not. If I know my brother, Avans, and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we give Avans and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. <laughs> Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. Gelatinous? If I'm ever half as goo as Mallow and Avans behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. <laughs> Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. Oh. Well, I want to see where it is. I want to see the probe. And track it. Huh. Oh, God. Well, I've committed to doing it. But wait, isn't... Oh, I've got to go grab that one. Fair enough. Can do, can do. Hopefully we don't get flung into space. This is so trippy. <laughs> this is freaking me out. Here we Here. Grab the brittle hollow thingy. Ooh. Um. Follow production stone. Yeah, been here. Been here, been here. Okay. My bad news, Evans. Yara says there was a problem with the proposed power source that orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. Yeah, do they have like robot limbs? I thought that when I saw the the body earlier. I thought it was just it's like 
protective um, spacesuit. I wish I were my friend, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the pro orbital probe cannon is on an indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update, Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Adeo may feel responsible. What is going on there? I don't know. Seven minutes, 33 seconds ago. Long range probe successfully launched on the orbital probe. Seven minutes ago. Who did it? Who did it? Madness. Monoy, Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly and one somehow sank beneath the current. Yeah. So a part fell beneath the surface. I'm guessing it's not the part that was at the core. Oh, I don't know, maybe it was. Sorry, I'm just thinking. I've also got to find the statue. Statue island or something. Oh god, oh god, oh no, something's coming. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, 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 oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, shit, shit. Should I just go in the water? I don't think I'm gonna make it otherwise. There it goes. Come on, it disappeared. Gonna drop back down there, right? I think it's gonna drop on my head if I do this, so I'm just gonna go down here. If I can. And there it is. Just gonna fly around and check. It's a nice place to leave my ship, though. this. Ah. Uh. Um. There we go. Uh, here it is. Looks like it's got knocked over. The statue workshop. Why did you build this? What does it do? hope that this holds me in place. How are you doing? <laughs> I don't know how I'm doing personally. Here we go. Fuck, might die. Oof. Okay, I think I'm alive. Cool. Thank you very much for that. 
Vamos. Okay. That's been covered. A settlement here? How on earth did they live here peacefully? All these storms. I'm thinking maybe these were like gravity points and when a cyclone passed maybe they had to stand here and be like "Ooh, take shelter. I don't know. <laughs> My new guess. We're going to test the memory statues tonight. Block says it could be dangerous so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and got s and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? I really want to see the test too, Lamy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will let us see a later test. Flox specifically told us not to do that. Oh, I... I think I can only get in here from underneath, maybe. But then... I can't jump very high. Maybe I have to wait till the island's lifted, I'm not sure. Let's go see if I can get around anyway. God's sake. <laughs> That's just the way I came in. I think so. I'm not sure though. It's so annoying how heavy this is. Oh no wait, it's not the way I came in because I climbed. Didn't I? Yeah, so this should all be new. I want to know about the other way. What's the other way? I guess underneath. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, I'm going to have to go deep diving in the water. And then maybe right up. Ooh. Hang about. Where does this go? Welcome to Giant Steep, friends. I'm excited to meet you, to, for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. Can I use this? I can't see anything. It's got a glow, hasn't it? I need to use it. Hmm. I guess I've got to wait for them to align. I won't be able to jump over very easily. Oh gosh, I think a thingy's coming. I'm gonna try diving. So I might have to go through the current, but no. But can I then? Oh, I can. I can just get out. Okay. Haha, <laughs> what's that? It's me. I don't know why I've never thought about doing this before. You. Oh dear. 
think they were carving. Yeah, it really looks like they've died in the middle of doing stuff. I hear it. I hear it overhead. might kill me because I, I think I'm technically like floating okay 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 hopefully oh, it's not like this fuck 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 <laughs> okay well that was interesting where's the shore Hmm. Another one. Maybe it's just a safe place of sound. No. Yarrow, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened. That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ashtoon project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Vlox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single, single Nemise memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. <gasps> I'm gonna have a storage unit there. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask and the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nemai. So why do they want to store memories? To deal with time travel? Oh. Oh, that place I'm seeing. Oh, it's the memory storage unit. Right. That place I've been saying with all these uh, statues. And their eyes are lit up. And how many eyes were lit up? I think there was three. So me, Gabro, and someone else. The person launching the cannon. At the beginning of every loop? I think so. Damn. But it was after the... We looked at this that the looping began. So it's... It's affecting time as well, somehow. Hmm. I'm going to be able to see in a second, I think. Let's read this first. I've installed the, the masks. I've installed the masks inside Ashwin Project blocks. They look beautiful, although I feel as though I'm being observed. <laughs> it's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. I guess the cannon failing. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ashtoon project, the statues and the masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. So something's... Okay, so they did a time loop so they could fix something going wrong. I think I'm about to see it. Yeah. Oh my god, why is it spinning like that in space though? So one, two, three. Three are paired. Uh oh. Three of them. Oh no! Forgot about that. Fuck, am I gonna be able to get up in time? God dang. Someone else paired. I think I'm gonna have to uh, 
find the orbital probe locator and try and find them if I can. Damn. Oh, I think I might have been done here anyway. Oh, no. What's that up there? Where would I get up there? It's a bit too high for me. Yeah, no way. Pretty sure there's no way. Underwater, the water level rise enough for me to get it. <laughs> Some strange um, loading and <laughs> <coughs> clipping of audio. Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna die. 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 Go! Go! <laughs> that was so risky. It worked. I did it. Oh my god, what a risky way to live. What if you didn't make it to one in time? What if you're on the toilet? I'm curious. Is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. Imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? So is that time's been written? It is confusing to think about, to be honest with you. Blimey. Well, that was a fun puzzle to get up here. I like that my theory about this was true. Oh my god, you can land on that thing? Wow, that's an entry I haven't done. Okay. I think I'm going to try taking a picture of the quantum moon. And then explore Ash Twin project and mm, yeah go to the ash twin go to brittle hollow and i gotta go find this damn escape pod <laughs> i guess i can look for an, a distress beacon uh signal follow that maybe the vessel would have one i don't know how to resolve this mm. Yeah, I think we did good. I think I did a lot. I feel like I did a lot more than I did last time. Um, it's starting to make a bit more sense. That was so fun. I'm always knackered by the end of these recordings, so I'm just like, oh, I can't even talk about what happened. There's so much to talk about. I need to wrap my head around this probe cannon business. I'm pretty sure there's someone in it, unless it is they're just sending a probe with no one in it. Yeah, I might need to read through all the information and try and piece together this puzzle when I'm more awake and carry on with the areas I mentioned. 
But yeah, thank you so much for watching this, especially if you've watched the end. I'm so tired. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> it's just hit me just now how tired I am. I'm gonna send me and my dog to bed. He's very oh, he looked up at me. He did not like the thought of going to bed. I mean, he has a bed. Bed. He's just lying on a. Oh my god, he's gone. <laughs> he ran away. I think he does want to go to bed. Sometimes he loves it. He's like, please leave me alone. Turn off the light. I think today's one of those times. Let me know your favorite part of the video and no spoilery comments, please. And yeah, I'll see you in a new video very soon. Bye everyone.